previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. Little pieces what the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victor. <laughs> David, <laughs> please. Max. I see everything hey, psycho. Well. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Why is she crying? Oh, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. This game is really good. That was my chair again. Snooze, I guess we're doing it. Hey, G. Sweeze, I think? Oh, J. Yeah. How are we, man? That's so relatable though. She pressed snooze, and that's what all like all other teens do. This game is just so relatable, am I right? Alright Eddie. How much is every episode? Uh I don't know, but I bought like the season pass, so I yeah. Yeah, it's probably what five dollars what Bree said. What is my dream car? Oh man, I don't know. Probably a R34. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, probably an R34. Yeah, exactly. It's on it's on sale right now. That's why I got it, and I I have um I haven't played it yet, so why not just buy it and stream it? Nice, fatty. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. All right, see you, fatty. Thanks for coming out, man. Wait, what's happening? This sound is pretty good, man. You enjoy it. Being a superhero is dirty work. And K Y Wang, thanks for following, man. Forgot to shout you out. Let's take a morning selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Look like she broke her neck, but okay. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. 
I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. Oh god. So that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. So I guess we need to put shoes on. No. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game. Some peeps? Instead of the peep crew? Games. What? Okay. We just chilling? I don't know, are we? Alright, let's... This crazy shit going on. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Let's make the bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Alright, let's just walk outside then. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, okay. So we're gonna shower. Cool. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Oh, yeah. Where are the showers? Rewind that. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Welcome back, Eddie. Jealous, here we go. Something's gonna happen, I can feel it. Do I shower first? Hey, oh, Max. nope. Okay, she's just gonna talk to me. She's got peeps on her Wait. shirt. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. I know, right, Breeze? That guy has issues. <laughs> Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I bet that's not what she needs to do with it. Okay. Alright, just shower with your clothes on. Oh. Ripping the paper yet. What's no, up, Kate? Fuck me. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Oh my god, Don't right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Oh god. <laughs> Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max uh, Selby sure thought pain. she was a badass <laughs> taking that picture. <laughs> I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. 
She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, it's not quirky, it's let's edgy. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh man. This game makes me cringe sometimes. With what they say. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. She just washed her face. Oh. Sorry. I forgot. All right, um... What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely <laughs> I should have just should left it on and just left. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back. To my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does mm -hmm. sound fun. <laughs> now I have to go contemplate my party future. Alright. Contraceptive pills. Ooh, okay. Someone's been getting naughty. Alright, uh. So I need to get that book. Yeah, I'm gonna get that book. Okay. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh, we could just rewind? Nah. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Oh there god, no. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Just keep calm and carry on. I hate that. He hated. No book here. Um. Of course, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Let's move Be that. Gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> she spills it again. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay. Now... Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. She doesn't reply. That's pretty rude. Keep me... <laughs> I need to get dressed before I go there. True. Sure. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. True. Sure. Maybe lock your room this time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Private number. As if I have. Oh shit. 
Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. I'm not gonna if do. I'm not already. Bitch, open Fine, up! I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Bitch. Doesn't even Fine, the door. I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. Yeah, we'll just look at the you would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, we'll bang for he's Jesus. a total <laughs> paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? Oh. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but probably shouldn't have said that. The video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? Oh. I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is... Detective Max is on the case. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and... Felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. They fought. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? Oh, I need it. to know what to do. Kate. Breeze. We'll figure it out. What's up? <laughs> I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. All right. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh, fuck. <coughs> um... Alright, this is this is up to you guys. What do I do? Go to the police and look for proof. I was so blunt when oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys gotta help me.
All right, we got one for police. Now we just need your votes. Need more votes. Look for proof. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, but see, if we put, if we go to the police, they they have no proof that he did anything. So I think look for proof. And then maybe if I get another thing to go to the police. I'm pretty sure I should look for proof. Yeah. I'm gonna go for proof. Let's do it. Let's be a detective. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Okay. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. All right. Is there anything on... Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Okay. Nah, it was. It was a good choice, I think. Mean. She's just being a bitch. Alright, so how am I gonna find evidence? Let's see if I can go in here first. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fuck you. Oh, well. I was gonna say something, but nothing came out. Alright. Let's go get some food. Oh. Stop warriors, I think it's over here. No. I think they're Fine. awesome. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. Sounds funny. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully. That's fine, come back. Awesome. <laughs> Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. And thank you, come back for following again. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Can't tell him. dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Yeah, Eddie. <laughs> Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Oh, God. Oh, uh, what do I do? I 
calm. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Just pull him in. Pull him into the friend zone. I'll go eat myself. Uh-huh. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you that's why I, I friend zoned him. Because of that this fucking shirt. To do with Kate or Rachel. Alright, let's go have some breakfast. This is a whole other level. And there's the light elves. I mean, that's just an average day on Blackwell Academy. The diner looks exactly the same. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Breeze. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, wow. She told me not to be late and she's running late. Grab a seat. I'm really hungry now. <laughs> Fuck. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, there. kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. 
Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercing, Tattoos, really? Hair. I didn't notice it. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, yeah, but he's st do you? her stepfather's a he's dick. He's not so. as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. Doobie. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. <laughs> Damn it, and please. she's not even in school anymore. <laughs> so, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? All right, now, this is probably the most crucial question out of the whole series. What do I have to eat? Guys, I need you to answer this properly. You can't just like, you know, you need to think about it. Bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? Which one? I have a lot writing on this question. Can't fuck it up. Bacon? Alright, we already got a vote. It's bacon. Let's go. Bacon omelette. Why not both? <laughs> there was no there's no choice for that. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelette for the young lady staff. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. No. Oh. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This guy looks familiar. 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 Isn't he the one with the bong? If you don't eat bacon, Chloe dies. Luckily, I chose bacon. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Let's just keep drinking. Order ready. This is like four. Oh, times. okay. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Oh, I'm hungry. You'll love this. I'm drooling. <laughs> that guy's nice little life, beer and bacon. Yeah. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. This game worth getting? Yeah, definitely, man. This is actually Speaking really good. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a the free squad's meal. back. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give. If me you like story, this is actually apologized. a pretty good game. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. <laughs> what is this shit on the jukebox?
Now that that's out of the way. I get it because she's an edgy teen. Let's that's why she likes rock superpower. music. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Shit. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Now rewind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. Shit! Oh, fuck! What was it? What was it? Uh... A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so... Wrong, Max. Focus, Damn it. Psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so bad. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me. Oh, well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Razor blade? What? It looked like a teddy bear, wasn't it? It was a bear. Yeah, it was a bear. Definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so Whoa. wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's. Oh, we can look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. And That's why, because I didn't anything. study it. Okay. Cigarettes. Okay. That's why. So I need to study them. I can't just rewind. Why is it in slow mo? Why is it in slow mo? Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. <laughs> what? A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, fuck. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. I but didn't I count that! I had to be thirteen. 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's Damn it. in your pockets. Ugh. Okay. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Seven. Uh, yes. Ten thirty-four. Someone count that, because I don't know what that is. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, they make this difficult. <laughs> Okay, Max. All right, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. Ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Cigarette. She had I'm seven. Sure. Yes, you know I'm a sm Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Thank you, Mako. Oh, that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Maze balls, nice. I'm gonna say that often. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Oh, that was my chair again. Sorry about How's that. The food, Max. Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. First try, exactly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill. All right, we got it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next oh, four? 30 seconds what? or so. What? I didn't pay attention that hard. Uh... Drop someone who trucker or the trucker drops or Trevor. Who's Trevor? Uh, trucker. No. Yes. No. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Yes. Max, you said that you would predict four events. We're nowhere near that. Oops. Dude, Did you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Okay, I think we got... This song this is yet. sure the hell better than that other All right. one. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next Is this the famous George? Yes it is. Rattlesnake, welcome. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Um uh... The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Enjoys... Enjoy stops them? Justin and Trevor are fighting, and George no. breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what no. happens. Wait. Wait. 
What landed on it? <laughs> Fuck, I'm so dumb. Alright. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't want to do this again. This has to go right. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. What crawls onto it? Yep, a cockroach. There we go. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. I'm going to predict four events the cop didn't that leave? will happen in the next okay. 30 seconds or so. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker... So, what happens next? Um, cops radio, um... Does he... Does he... He And his partner leaves? Uh, he answers... Which one? Um... And his partner, okay. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Oh, okay. Let's just see how this goes down. True, alright, alright. Uh, just an... <laughs> You'd say donut, though. Um, Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. No, stops them. Stops them, yeah. Justin and Trevor are fighting. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the coverage calls in it. Yeah. The jukebox. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. <laughs> yeah, brazen. <laughs> that makes more sense. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait. Really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful. Oh, Screw that! Of course I love you, Breeze. The best toy ever? <laughs> never changed. You can play anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Oh. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. It's because you need to she's testing you. your power. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna answer it. 
Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? You stream for it? Thanks, Max. Bruce. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Nope. I'm still gonna. Oh, and that guy's there. Phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until <laughs> now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Fuck, she's edgy. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Five bottles. Okay. Syringes, nice. I should probably step on those. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or Yeah, I know, Breeze. I thought that was gonna happen. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. Mixtape. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. There's a bong noise. Hello, bottle number one. I want to die. Oh shit. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I bet you that that Nathan Prescott guy killed her or something. Nope, I don't want to go there. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. <gasps> oh, fuck. Um, I need more bottles. There's one. Boom. Only three bottles left. The edginess is taking over you. Um. Wow, sir. 
That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. All these emojis. That dough is the perfect photo op. She takes a photo, it's not there. Oh, okay. She didn't even look at it. Okay. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yeah, Spongebob's the best. Now, I need three more bottles. I don't know where they are. Oh. Stupid bottle. Cheese. Now I have to rewind. So what do I do? Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Aha! This goes a dingus. Two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. I get it. Nope, I don't want to go there. Two more bottles, that's all I need. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. That's why I need this. Just how do I get up there now? Ah, okay. It's a football. Alright, let's get this plank. One more bottle to go. Where would that bottle be, though? Oh, fuck me. I'm so popular. Now, where would that last bottle be? I know, right, Breeze? Alright. Uh. No. Nope, I don't want to go there. This is probably taking a lot longer than it should. I've probably passed it so many times. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Maybe... 
I know oh, there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Oh, okay, thanks for the hint. Ah, okay, so I was here earlier and I missed the bottle. Yeah, I passed it. Wow. And then... Now I can deliver this bottle booty nope, to you're not going to fall on my... On my... On, my, on me. Alright, finally. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I passed it twice. Okay. Thanks, Max. Yeah, Breeze, exactly. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. To the shit. What? Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. I mean, can't she tell? I mean, she has eyes. Did you see that shit, Max? Oh, Duh. wait. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second. But I don't get it. <laughs> she has yeah, eyes. Max, she can probably use them. Where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I so, wanna get creative. Wait, why did I need to find all these bottles if we're just gonna Give me something Fuck. to shoot, Max? Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Oh Listen fuck! That bullet beats. Hello. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Uh, so did I do it wrong? Like, what am I... Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Oh fuck! She took out the bottle. Nice shooting tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Oh. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Yeah, we're shooting the gas. A target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back. Gas tank go boom. Oh, fuck. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. We have to rewind that. Uh, Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Bumper. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Hey, Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> cool bumper. <gasps> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Gun? 
Hold on, Chloe. <laughs> okay, so we're not doing that again. Dude, I need a How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Yeah, I know, Eddie. Uber cool. Uber cool. Oh my god, stop talking, I please. I believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to Don't really like. <laughs> I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh fuck. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. Choose yourself in the face. This power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo. Max is afraid. Keep pressure. I handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie? And Clyde. Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. Oh. You're my business now. It's Rachel's. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you fucking shoot him. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Fuck. Whoa. Do I shoot him? <laughs> Come on. What do I do? I. Mm, I want to shoot him. I really want to shoot him. Rachel is the girl that was that uh, that went missing, and that's Chloe's best friend. Oh, other best friend. What do I do? Do I shoot? Do I shoot? Shoot? Uh. True. All right. Shoot. Mm. Oh. Wait, we only lost. I'll remember you almost shot me, and you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. Oh. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. 
At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. Wow, okay. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I listen to you guys? Yes, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Better follow her? Where'd you go? Wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, there's a squirrel. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. I could have. Shit. Oh fuck. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just True. I need it. I, I keep Stick forgetting that. that. Right fuck. You have the power. You're gross. I need to remember that I can fall. actually rewind. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe. Why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The <laughs> one in your joint, remember? Hey, Alex, how are you, man? Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake I'm doing great. of following money. Just so enjoying this game right now. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Mm. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. The game is we awesome would all be so our best friends forever. I know so she good. must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, until you get your foot stuck. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the bee poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Take the fucking shoe off! I don't wanna die here! I can't even move it an inch. 
Yeah, just in case, Breeze, don't shoot, don't, don't, um, don't say it. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Fuck, shit. Let her die! The coming. <gasps> eh. I can definitely use this bad boy. Matt, get me out of here! Shut up, I'm coming! Please. Oh, fuck me! Go! Oh! Oh, oh no! Okay. Okay. Can I use the crew? No, I can't. Fuck. Hurry! I can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Shine brings trouble, let it die. Fuck! <gasps> no, I used. The I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, put the crowbar on the door. Get the tools. Get out and save her. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Score. The wire cutters. There it is. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Red wire, always the red wire. Now that's the right cable. There we go. Max, get me out of here. Yes, I did it. Whew. Oh. There we go. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. I can't believe I guessed that red wire. <laughs> totally for life. Oh man. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time with you, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Uber cool. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course oh, of my destiny, about. yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, wait. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything in Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. You would have left her. <laughs> True. I have 
a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. All right. Let's talk to him. Sir? Ah. Hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you would yesterday? Oh. No. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. What a dick. Yeah, meeting of dick sucking. Bitch. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal oh, in Oregon. Oh, it I is in Oregon. At Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Why, yeah, why is he so attached to her? But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless oh. you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody oh. else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. He knows shit. Dubstep, nice. That's not okay. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Oh god, it's Artie. Oh, science lab. Actually, no, I'm go I'll go here first. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you? <sighs> it's good, Artie. I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? I took a photo! My word isn't good enough? Wait. The one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. Damn. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. The game's awesome, I really like it. Uh... Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented Isn't on Isn't allowing basis. alcohol? What if Kate brought this on herself? Wait, she Alex, how old are you? Maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing. Just sneak it in, Alex. The principal well said you had I don't doubt anyone else is, is gonna do that. You care to share? Oh. What do I do? Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, 
shit, shit, shit. Fuck. I'll do it. No! Because that could blow up right in my face. Um. No, I won't do it. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Exactly. I'm on drama alert sure. right now. Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes. Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Shit, no. I needed to go to fucking the science labs. Nope. I can't always rewind, but it's fine. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. Oh, it's I not a cheese. It's not cheese. It's it's a box. And a cat is in it, and it's saying meow. Or a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. No, Brace. These glasses are fucking hip. You just don't get it. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but. Go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh god. Boys up. <laughs> Weird science. It's the other one. Hey Timo. Pink big brain thing. Hey Warren. Maxwell's asking me for help? I have to add either a bit of potassium. It's sodium. No! Oh fuck! Go. No. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, Breeze. This can't be that hard. Hey, Warren. It's lots of testing. Are you testing. okay? Have that. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Rewind. <laughs> Get confused. Maxwell Silver asking me for half that either. Oh, so I can do it again? Alright. I actually think you should use a lot of potential. <laughs> Let's do it again. See? Look at that. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Alright, so I did- I did good. <laughs> I guess I rewind- rewinded for nothing. Or to make it blow up in his face again. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bow. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. I wanna be in the picture. How do I look, Taylor? Photobomb! You look like ass. There we go. Alright. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? I don't oh, know. I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. <laughs> They're talking about Jefferson. me and I'm right in like front of them. Of Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or Papa You're hoping Maxie. a nuke? <laughs> I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Yeah, I know, Breeze. Meow. Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Alright, Alex, this is what you do. You get whatever that that kid had in his beaker already, then you put potass a shitload of potassium in it, then it'll blow up in her face. That's what you do. And that'll show her.
Oh, there's Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Ooh, he's a pedophile. How did she see that from there? <laughs> oh my god. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> hey, Tamer. Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need some. Don't worry, Audi. So Forty friends on him so many themselves. times. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Speaking of participation. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. No. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Oh shit. Dismiss. Everything's great, Tima. Let's check this shit out. Oh, she jumped. Kate! Oh, fuck. <gasps> she can't die. She can't. Whoa! Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh, fuck. She froze time? Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Do it, Max. Just do it. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here 
Kate, please. Oh and that's my charity. I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I got this makeup, don't feel worry. Like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged oh. you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I She trips into it and she fools. <laughs> Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Nope. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh, fuck. Be strong. Everybody will forget. Be strong. <sighs> this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. <gasps> You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Yes! Friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares what? about me! Nobody! What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother. At all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No! Kate, please stop. Listen, this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, fuck. Shit. Matthew, ah. Oh. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Do it! Grab it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams! Yes! That's how we save a life. Sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Well, fuck you, Artie. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. 
As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know it was awesome to us. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. There we go. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Shit. Wow, okay. This is some bullshit. Um... Okay, so... Nathan? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, it, it, so it sounds like it's the most... It's the right one. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took no her worries, to the emergency breeze. room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. Shit! No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Oh. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. No. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. There we go. Rewind, 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 rewind. Okay. Miss Caulfield. Oh, and Breeze, exactly if, if Artie you says anything Kate stupid, Marsh. I want you to Did she tell time him out. Plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Seriously, punch Nathan in the face. <laughs> Alright, David, 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 bleh, David bullied her. That's the right one. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I That's found right. out. No, you were part oh, of the shit, crowd. someone followed. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You Gon Go Nick official or Gonick official? Thanks for following that. your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Fuck! Now, if you have anything else to say. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break. Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll I... continue mm. this investigation from there. I fucked up. I done fucked up.
Jefferson made her cry? What do you want from me? Like... I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I oh. am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible Sweeney, disciplinary Sweeney, Zoe, measures for you. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. There we go. That was the right one. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. Oh, I would shit. Know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. She didn't friends on him. He's in the clue. Goals.
twice. And that's episode two. You still don't know who half these people are. You did come in late, so it's understandable. Noise. Alright, let's see what I did right and wrong. Okay. Try to shoot Jake, nice. Everyone blamed Nathan still. Shit, I probably should have blamed... Oh my god. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, I just got the chills. Oh my god. Okay.